Ooh, or dealing with a cancer. I'll deal with a cancer of some sort. Let's go ahead and jump into this here. Just line this all up so it looks all nice. Your underlying energy is the chariot. Effort is required here. Effort is required. So, pursuing your relationships, or pursuing your happiness is going to require a lot of work. And that work is balancing your head and your heart, making sure that you are emotionally satisfied and you're, men you're mentally stimulated, okay? And I feel like there needs to be a balance in regards to how this you know, balance is so that you can get to victory. I feel like there is a victory here as well. Uh, because you've received enlightenment. This is the only card that I usually read reversed because it does signify to me enlightenment and, you know, seeing the perspective and, you know, getting, moving from one place, moving out of the place of having to sit in limbo to see the perspective in your current situation. So you've gotten out of it. So right now it's all about balance, right? Balancing. And kind of you know doing what you need to do and just putting in the effort necessary to maintain the balance that's necessary to get you to where you want to be now your current situation is that you're starting something stable starting something that can get you that can lead you towards legacy to, towards security support and security and i think a new beginning where you can fully and utterly commit to it's going to require determination and hard work but hey it's worth it right it's something very something very um serious that can be started here but at the same time this is a little boring. You're sad. You just want that ace of wands. You want to go out there and have some fun. You want something that's a little bit more exciting and engaging. The, and if the ace of pentacles, yes, it can be a little bit engaging, but it, it's a slow start. And the way you need to pursue it, the way it's you know built, is by taking time and really putting in effort. You know, it's like, hey, you have to put in effort with the ace of wands, but at least that effort is kind of like shadowed by drive and passion and you know creativity. And enthusiasm now where you guys want to be is the three of swords you guys wanted to overcome old issues overcome old past pains and um, situations that um, that still play your heart a little bit sometimes I think there's some things that just still hurt you and I feel like you really want to overcome this so every time I see this in the goal when I see this or any like the ten of swords or something you really want to pursue you want to recover you want to you know see the problem for what it is and then really tackle it and really work on it and recover from that Okay, but what's keeping you from receive from getting to this three of swords, right? To overcoming past issues, is the nine of pentacles. I think you guys may is maybe that you're comfortable where you are, um, or you're like I said before, it, it's boring. You guys are bored out of your minds, and y'all don't know what the hell to do. You kind of feel trapped in a gilded cage because again, this is something that you guys are familiar with, and you guys are very you guys know what this is around you. You guys are very familiar with it. Starting this new beginning and starting starting big, yeah, yeah. You're very confident that you're able to do it, but you're bored as hell because the offer, like it's it's pentacles and yes, it's not something that you guys want to do. You're like I said before, you're sad. You want to have fun. You want to feel passionate. Saturn, Saturn, uh, Saturn is out of your side. You don't need to see those Ace of Pentacles anymore. Ace of Pentacles is like, yeah, okay, Saturn. Bye bye. Okay. So when I see this card for you guys, it's like, okay, yeah, this was, was keeping me from really wanting to conquer these issues is that these are one a safety net, safety zone, ways, you know, patterns and things that you kind of develop to kind of get you to success, to get you through, get you to a place of comfort, to get you a place to, um, where you can be all right. So yeah, you're, these are old habits to break in a sense. So this, this is an old way of, you know, you, you've had to develop a kind of a style to kind of overcome some difficult situations to become comfortable in your circumstance. Definitely true. But then at the same time, you're also very, very bored. You're very bored with it. So it's just like how to do it is not really exciting in a sense. It's like you're trapping yourself in the gilded cage. These are also, like I said, comfort zones. It's going to be a little bit hard for you to break free from the things that you've developed to get you to where you want, to get you to where you are. Independence, confidence, etc. Right? I don't think maybe you don't feel 100% confident that you'll be able to tackle on these old issues because you've this this was a it was a part of your routine to get you to to at least some sort of independence. And the reason why the reason why this this nine of pentacles is here. It has a lot to do with a relationship. It has a lot to do with this soulmate connection. I feel like these old habits are being highlighted and this comfort zone is being, you know, threatened because there's a relationship here. Perhaps there was some, there's someone in your life right now that's like, hey, there's some old stuff, you know, you know, I see that you're kind of bored and 
you, there's nothing going on around you and you're not really you're you're comfortable where you are because it got you to where you want to be but you're also really uh, you're like i said you're in a gilded cage and the reason why this skill the cage is here and it's really highlighting that you have a gilded cage right now is because this relationship is at jeopardy or something or you feel something about someone let me see why is the two of cups the reason why the nine of pentacles is blocking sagittarius from their goal and it's because of the seven of cups pursuing a, you know pursuing your heart's desire but it's confusion as well You're not really sure what the hell is going on maybe it's just somebody that you know that offered something in the you know offer something and you don't know if it's legitimate so you're just kind of staying where you know you, you can build something but you want to you know but this relationship because this relationship doesn't really show it does it feels like it's too good to be true so tackling these old issues is hard because you are comfortable where you are you know that where you are is legitimate and it's real and you don't and the reason why this is here keeping you from this three of swords is because you know the, because this relationship is kind of giving off this too good to be true vibe you don't know if you could trust it but you know you can trust yourself you know you can trust the situation your situation despite how boring it is you know you can do this i mean you know that this is real um, again, this could be that you don't have the confidence. You may not feel confident enough to pursue these three, those three of swords, because again, this relationship could be too good to be true, right? Like you may not feel like you have the confidence to get over the situation, get over these hurdles because this relationship feels like it's just a dream. So that could be that as well. Now for your advice y'all have the two of swords is making that hard decision to go in and speak your truth and well, pick a truth and run with it and ultimately it's the three of swords right so whatever you're holding on to whatever you're trying to avoid right now eventually you have to drop these swords to address the three of swords eventually right because that's what two of swords lead to three of swords and it's like it's, this is not an easy energy but what it's saying is that it's time to make the decision it's time to make the decision to just you know to see it for truly what it is right if this relationship to you is too good to be true why is it too good to be true for you why do you feel like you can't pursue this relationship you know what i mean and if you can, if why don't you see that you have the confidence to make anything happen to conquer your um, conquer your old issues with this relationship perhaps this relationship has some situations where it doesn't have a very stable foundation which can lead to confusion and you don't know if you can really tr you know be vulnerable and get you know face your old issues because you might have to end up you know because you don't know if this relationship is going to be really that grounded for you you don't have true groundedness here possibly so then that leaves you feeling like you don't have the confidence to handle your, you know, the take on your, you know, take on the battle because, you know, because the relationship doesn't show stability. You don't know if you can truly trust this relationship to be stable because it doesn't, it just feels too good to be true. But you have, but again, this is a situation where it's about, you know, making up, the, making your mind, finding your heart's desire. I feel like, I feel like the two of swords is really just saying like, it's time to face this that situation if you feel that the relationship is too good to be true why it's why why do you feel like you can't you won't be able to last is because these old issues co compromise your relationships all the time and if that's the case what well your relationships here talk about it work with it you have to communicate it but you, you but you can't communicate something you can't see sag so that could be that too you know what i'm saying for a lot of you guys this could be that um could be that your situation itself it's just hard to deal with because this person wasn't very reliable in the past or something but this, this relationship is showing again it can be too, too good to be true um you you know you don't really know what to trust in regards to this relationship this this love connection so it's all about like you know that trust in someone else maybe they just they have to you know you want to trust them but it's hard to you know what i'm saying now for your feelings you guys have the ten of pentacles so you guys are handling your situation in a way that kind of causes you guys a little bit more work and a lot more more of a burden i feel like you guys do feel burdened currently in your situation but how it's being handled right now is a lot on your back it's really killing it and it's not it's not 100 percent you your situation in regards to your relationship is not being is not really helping either your relationship is showing that it's not really it's showing that it's it's wonderful and good to glamour when things are 
cool, but when it's things hit the fan and get serious, can it last? So it, in a sense, you feel like you have to carry your burdens. You have to, you know, do everything on your own, but you do have a relationship here that, but you don't trust it. So it's like, uh, this, that's hard, right? If you don't feel like you can trust your relationship, yeah, the Ten of Wands is going to come up in your feelings. It's going to be a burden that you're willing to carry because you don't know if you can, if this relationship will last. You want this relationship to last. You want this relationship to mean something. That's why you have the Ace of Pentacles here. It's the beginning stages. And you haven't really given that trust to the relationship yet to see if you can actually be vulnerable to face those old issues. So right now it's all about facing, you know, like seeing if there's a different way for you to carry these wands home, to carry these wands to, to a place of rest. Because if you can, because if you can, things will be easier, right? You can handle your problems. But right now you're holding on to everything and trying to f handle it on your own, which is not, again, it's, you have to handle your old issues on your own, but it's okay to have a safety net. But you don't know if you have a safety net, so you're doing it on your own. And it causes you a lot more burden because it's so much work. And I'm not saying this is bad, okay? It just, I hate to see you guys do this to yourselves or do this at all because you feel like your relationship isn't isn't stable enough for you to be secure in your relationship, okay? Because the nine of, nine of Pentacles crossing this situation is insecurity. So these old issues probably have a lot to do with insecurity in your relationships. Or feeling like you guys are kind of giving gifts and lavished up and everything, but you don't actually have a connection with this person. You don't feel like you're connecting with this person. And it's, it's just hard. So no judgment here. Like I completely get this, this, this 10 of wands. It's hard, yo. It's hard. So in your hopes and fears, you have the six of pentacles. You want this good give and take. You want it to be shown that, hey, as committed as you are in the relationship, the other person is as well. You want to see that though. You want to see it. Um, in, in physical terms, I don't think you want it in material terms. You don't care about about the money. I feel like you really care about it being reciprocated, showing, being shown that love is there and support is there, because you show that support to that person. But again, like you don't know, like you don't know if this is, this even balance can be even brought to the table if this relationship ain't real. <sighs> it's a hard one. Now, with your outcome, you have the Queen of Cups. So this is you guys, it could be you guys, or you could be an air, a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio in your life that, um, that, you know, that's feeling very vulnerable, but very much in love. There is a lot of a vulnerability. There's a lot of stuff going on. But the thing here about the Queen of Cups is that her cup is covered. She knows how she feels at all times. She knows what's in her cup. She knows what, how much it's worth, but she's very passive about it. I feel like right now it's allowing yourself to be in love and being vulnerable with your partner. And knowing that they have your back. Because if you're going to start building something serious with this person, you got to try to like at least test the water, right? You got to put your foot in the water, see how cold it is. And if it truly doesn't warm you, then it's something that lets you know something, right? It lets you know. But don't feel like you have to carry all this burden on your own before, and especially before you really look at the issue and address the situation. If you feel like you need the support, you need the help, then go ahead and let that person know. You gotta communicate that. You gotta be open. You gotta communicate that. You gotta let you, you gotta communicate to the person that you feel like this relationship has some holes in it that needs to be filled. Especially if there's not a real foundation for you to really be able to tackle these old issues that you got. And with that, that balance can be had and you can be that vulnerable person that you that you need to be to tackle these old issues, but not be, you know, but in a safe space. You'll be safe. And it's very hard to do because it's already putting you in a very vulnerable spot by even asking for help. But at the end of the day, I feel like it'll be worth it because in, in any situation, whether, whether whether what will happen or, you know, won't happen, you will get the answers that you need to make the, the, the hard decision to be able to pursue what you want to pursue, which is good, overcoming some old issues. Okay, Sag, let me go ahead and pull your romance angels. This is real deep. This is hard, man. I'm sorry, Sag. Oh, yeah. Forgiveness and learning. Forgiving and learning. And this is saying to... As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present. And that's what's up. That's totally true. And that's pretty much how the situation is. Um, that's what the situation is trying to pretty much say right now. Is that when you forgive and love, you let you release, you give the relationship a chance to do what you want it to do. To at least do what you're trying to make happen, which is create a solid foundation. 
okay? But you got to be open to it and you got to see it. Right now you're not opening to it. That's why the Two of Swords is here. You're not seeing the situation as for as crazy as it is. But you're not opening up about what you may need help with because you're trying to handle this all on your own. This burden is all yours because you don't feel like this relationship's stable. Goodness, what is this person in this relationship doing that's making you guys feel like y'all can't trust this relationship to even have a safety net? Hmm. This is your soulmate. This person is your soulmate. And I feel like they're here to show you this, you know, this relationship or they're showing something that you may need in relationships to help you pursue what you want to pursue. This relation, the soulmate, this is someone that's meant to be here. And the two of cups is definitely indicating a soulmate. But again, like the soulmate can be too good to be true. May feel like this is just a dream because they, they fit so well with you or you love them so deeply. It just feels like anything could happen and it could fall through. But you have to leave a little bit of trust first because I feel like there's a little bit of trust that's lacking here. If you can trust your, your situation and just really allow your connection to try to support you at least once while you're going through this, you know, going through this you know, situation of healing and, you know, addressing of old issues, you might be surprised to where you went, you know, you might be surprised and happier that you don't have to handle this 100% on yourself. Yes, all problems are our own, but you don't have to be by yourself, okay? So guys, be brave right now, okay? It's going to require you guys to be brave and to trust, and it's going to be hard, especially if there's some situations within this relationship where, you know, things fell through because some things got serious. But as long as you trust, things will be all right. Things will play out in the right way, I feel. Even if it don't work out between you two and this person, which I don't think so. I think honestly, you guys will have this relationship still. Things will be great. You just have to trust. But if you happen to have that happen, you know, that does give you some sort of idea of what's going on. But you have to have that balance going on, and that true balance to be able to get you through and, you know, get you towards that victory.